go out and take it. But right now, it is all Parker Valby as she is running through some of the toughest parts of the course. Well, that's Parker Valby for you. To be fair, most people, athletes especially, are in constant pursuit of greatness. It would be nice to win a race, but it would probably be better to break a world record in the process. You get it. Athletes are nothing if not extremely competitive. Parker Valby, at 22, is not any different. From graduating from the University of Florida in the spring to making her Olympics debut in the summer, the American distance runner is on quite a roll. Now, she officially made the move to the professional ranks. Most of you may remember that Parker was a finalist in the 10,000 meter at the Paris Olympics. From there, she's ready to take on more. Taking one step in that direction, it was recently announced that she signed a footwear and apparel deal with New Balance. Notably, the brand's roster also includes world-class sprinters Gabby Thomas and Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, as well as other superstar women like Coco Gaff and Cameron Brink. So, yes, Valby's decision to be a part of the brand is reminiscent of Sydney's move when she was but a teenager. In fact, the three-time Olympian previously spoke about her decision to go forward with a $1.50 million New Balance deal amid offers from other major brands back when she was only 19. Sydney revealed how New Balance encouraged her to build her personal brand instead of following the footsteps of other great athletes who were already established. She recalled that at 19 years old, she sat with various shoe companies offering her money and endorsements. I'm just like excited for all the free stuff, she admitted. In my mind, I am not thinking about the long-term partnership, who's going to be the best for XYZ. And that's why I think your support system is so important because I had parents who kept me grounded, she said. While she refused to name the other brands, she further shared that a lot of them were selling the dream that you are going to be the next XYZ. She said, I felt that New Balance wanted me to be the first Sydney, be the first me, and how can we do that? How can we build your brand, and how can we partner with you in what you want to do? They have always been there for me since high school, giving my team uniforms and inviting us places. Basically, Sydney felt that the partnership was for the long run as she embarked on her pursuit to achieve greatness as a track athlete. I knew that this was going to be a family partnership in the long run. In terms of whether I'm losing or winning, they are still going to be there," she shared. After signing a sponsorship deal with New Balance in 2018, she forfeited her NCAA eligibility to turn pro after spending one year at the University of Kentucky. Now, Parker Valby is following her footsteps. Like Sydney, she received invitations and offers from various brands, so much so that the mainstream media labeled it as a competition among brands. Why? Even before this year's Paris Olympics, the biggest prize in NCAA distance running this year for shoe brands is Parker Valby of the University of Florida. The recently turned 22-year-old athlete has been dominant in the college ranks over the past year, winning four national titles by large margins and breaking two collegiate records. During the indoor season, she twice broke the NCAA 5-0-0-0 meter record that had stood for 15 years. In April, she smashed the collegiate 10,000 meter record in her debut at the distance, running 35-0.43, which put her 11th on the US all-time list. In June 2023, Valby signed a name image likeness or NIL deal with Nike. For those who didn't know, NIL deals end when the athlete leaves college and turns pro. To this point, distance runners in the NCAA have tended to sign their professional shoe contracts with the same company that has signed them to an NIL deal. Valby, however, could break away from the practice as large brands with deep pockets, including Puma and New Balance, are making a concerted push for her. At least that's what sources told Runner's World. This month, it finally came to light which brand she chose to partner with. In fact, Parker has moved to Boston to train on the brand's campus and with Team New Balance Boston, one of the top running teams in the world. She will be training under coach Mark Coogan as a member of Team New Balance Boston. New Balance Boston is home to American Olympians L. St. Pierre, Emily McKay, and Heather McLean, among other accomplished athletes. 
I'm excited to join the New Balance family and train in Boston with such an incredible group of runners. Family is very important to me, and it was very clear that New Balance was the brand for me, and I can't wait to get started," Valby said in a statement. Boston already feels like home, and I am honored to start my professional career with a brand that wants to support my dreams on and off the track. At this time, she has already run with Team New Balance Boston on several occasions. The company felt like the right fit for me, and I'm super excited to get going with them and super excited for what's to come," Valby said in a phone call with Runner's World. It's awesome to finally be here and get to train with the team. She added, I am just listening to what Mark tells me to do. We'll build a good base, get ready for some indoor races, a good spring, obviously. The big goal is Worlds in September. As most of you are probably aware, running sponsorship contracts typically come with confidentiality clauses. So it wouldn't surprise you that the terms of Valby's agreement with New Balance are not public. Pete Riley, who heads New Balance Sports Marketing for running, indicated the deal takes Valby well beyond the next Olympics in 2028. The company expects to use Valby in its marketing. I can't get into the details of it, but there are going to be things coming that are going to certainly excite a young audience, especially a high school athlete," Riley said. We'll be utilizing Parker's expertise and also utilizing Parker to help drive some of our running product. Fun fact, Parker's father, Kyle Valby, who is a pharmaceutical company executive, used to negotiating multi-million dollar deals, served as Valby's agent during talks with brands. He passed the World Athletics Agent exam in June. For context, agents are typically compensated with 15% of an athlete's endorsement deals, bonuses, and prize money from races. By employing her dad, who wouldn't take payment from his daughter, Valby avoided that expense. With his daughter as his only client, Kyle Valby was free to think outside the traditions that have bound running deals in the past. He networked with agents from the NFL, NBA, tennis, and Hollywood as he approached her negotiations. Many of the companies wanted to approach Parker's contract as a transaction, simply crossing out one athlete's name and putting in Parker's, crossing out their compensation and putting in Parker's, Kyle Valby told Runner's World. They wanted Parker to fall in line with what everybody else was doing. He said it was important to them that her deal be unique and tailored to her goals. He used the word disruptive. And New Balance delivered. I wanted to be part of a company that wants to grow the running world together, Parker Valby said. I'm super excited to do that with this partnership. In his interaction with Runner's World, Kyle Valby further shared, there are a couple of huge surprises coming soon. This is a historic deal. The same tone echoed via Pete Riley, who heads New Balance Sports Marketing for running. Wondering what other athletes are up to? Watch this to find out.